Hey guys, I'm here today with Blair Brown, and Blair is the owner of Visionary Advantages. She specializes in being a one-stop shop for branding and marketing, and today we're here to break down brand guides, and specifically how brand guides can really help excel your brand. So Blair, feel free to take it away. Okay, so I'm... I get really excited about brand guides because they're so it's so important for a brand and they're also really fun to do for me selfishly, but it's fun for my clients too, because we really can take a brand that's just kind of like, it's okay. Or they might not be okay, <laughs> but we'll look at like, where, where's their brand right now? And then we can create something totally amazing and make it come to life. So what a brand guide is, if you're not familiar with that is, it's everything. It's basically the compass for your brand. It's everything your brand is going to do as far as visuals, um, how it's going to sound. It's it's your business as a person, let's say. Um, so first, what we do is we dive in. We'll create an entire logo suite. So not just like one logo across like it is on my screen right now, but you'll have it like stacked. What does it look like if it's in a circle? What will it look like just as an icon? Um, just so that way it gives the full flexibility for the business owner to use it in different scenarios. So for example, if you're putting your logo on one of Carrington's amazing photos that she just took for you, like on a social media post, for example, you don't want to have something like a logo that's can interfere with the image. You want it to complement and work well with it. So if you have a couple different variations of it to fit different spaces and uses, very important. And it's nice to have it all up front versus scrambling for it when you need it right then and there. It also builds consistency. So uh, logos are in that color palette. Again, consistency is very important. Um, typography, brand icons. So you know, let's say like that, the email icon you see by somebody's email, but you could create so many different things for your business. If your business is in different industries, you can have an industry oriented ones and you can have them with a cool style that really speaks to you and your company. So it gives you just that creative freedom to build out and share with the world what your brand actually is. And so that's why I think it's super fun and I get nerdy over it. Um, you can, we also put in there social media post examples, ad examples, what's the homepage of your website going to look like, and everybody's favorite, merch. If you're going to have merch, even if you don't have merch, have some mocked up for your brand guide because it's just fun to see like what you can make. I so yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I, it always makes me laugh because whenever I show my clients the brand guide, whenever we're at the final stages, everybody goes, oh, the shirts or... Oh, the merch. I'm like, I knew it. I'm just going to save that slide for last every time. Yep. It's like the grand finale. Um, but anyway, so aside from it being fun and being creative, because that could actually stress some people out just because they might not be creative. <laughs> um, that's why I come in for this. But to help it excel your brand, it really does. Like it helps with that cohesive look. Um, I know Carrington, you can agree like, with having the right imagery, like what kind of imagery do you want for your brand? That's something that we would include in a brand guide because to have, um, instead of just random shots, like, or stock footage, right? You want it to be stylized to look uniquely you instead of somebody seeing something on your website and be like, oh, well, they pulled that from shutterstock.com or something. Not that there's anything bad with that, but just saying like to have it more branded, is a more professional appearance and look. So you can help, helps in your professionalism, the cohesive. Also, it helps with your teams. So if you have a team or if you're even outsourcing help like on a website, getting that or having this guide and being able to share it with your team member who's making your social media content or that person who's making a flyer for you or sending out an email, it helps them understand like, okay, well, this image would work because it matches the same kind of layout in the guide. And they use this kind of color overlay in the guide. So this is how I need to use it too. Or guidelines even include things how not to use a logo. So mm -hmm. you might have a creative employee who's going to make her own creative flair on a logo. And you're like, whoa, 
where did this come from? You have, was it in the guide? No. Okay. Follow the guide. So having that available is really huge. Um, even if you as owner and you're doing it all yourself at this point, like creative stuff, um, helps, helps yourself even be like, oh, well, we don't do this because of A, B, and C, or here's my proper color codes. So that way all the colors I use are always on point. So the consistency is going to help your brand. And overall, the biggest thing that brand guides help with, aside from consistency, professionalism, it all leads up to people trusting you. So <laughs> you want your future, your current customers and your future customers to trust you as a brand uh, because if, if they don't trust you and they don't think that you're professional, then how are they going to trust you with whatever they're wanting to spend money on? You know, like for me, it's marketing. How are they going to trust me with marketing if, if it looks terrible or inconsistent? Um, so you just want to make sure you put your best foot forward and having a brand guide really sets a foundation. And what's nice is once you have that done, it's kind of like a living document. You can always add on to it. You can make adjustments as you seem fit as your business grows. Let's say you have a new department added on. You want to add something else to it. You can as you're not stuck with it. Um, but it's just a great thing to start with, grow with. And then over time, you're just going to look back and be like, wow, I don't have to worry about that anymore. So it's a big relief. So build that trust with your clients. Highly recommend investing in that. Um, whether you make it yourself or you have a professional do it for you, it's going to be a great compass to have as you build your business. Awesome. And if anyone wants to learn how to build a, grant, a brand guide or talk to you about it, how can I get in touch with you? Sure. So go to my website, visionaryadvantages.com. Um, it has all the information. Like you, we have actually a setup where you can DIY it yourself if that's where you're at right now with your business. Or my team can take it off your hands and you we can go super nerdy and really make your brand shine. So we'll dive in and we'll look at every single aspect of it and make sure that it, it's perfect for you. Um, awesome. And then you can also shoot me a note on Instagram too. My handle is at Hey, it's Blair Brown. Perfect. This was amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.